Hey guys, this is Bethium, back with another helpful video for Elden Ring. We are here in the city of Ordina, liturgical town. So you are going to be encountering a pretty difficult little puzzle here. And I'm going to show you what to do, how to go through it. It's going to help you, I guarantee you. The first things first, you need this armor. And you need that in the combination of, just a sec... It's the black knife armor, I'm going to show you right where to find it here, and the concealing veil. The combination of these two things are going to make you very, very stealthy. Not impossible to see, but very hard to detect, but you're still going to have to be careful. Now, I'm going to be showing you this whole thing outside of the Evergaul, or however the fuck you say that thing. But don't worry, I'm going to talk you through it, and you just need to put it into practice. It's going to be very, very easy. Now, first things first, we need the armor that I told you about. I'm going to come here, jump to the side. You can even jump on the other side as well. And here is a black knife assassin. Now, after this, we're going to make our way back. Okay, so we are back here, we jumped down there where we got the armor, but now this time we go to this side over here. You're going to be entering the Evergoal right over here, and you're going to find yourself in that different dimensions and dimension, and there's a bunch of invisible enemies on the prowl. I'm going to show you where all the four uh, braziers, candles, or whatever you want to uh, call them, because you have to light four of them, where they are and how to approach each of them. Now, the first one might be the most difficult because you kind of, you have an archer up there and uh, right here, you are gonna have an assassin. So you go in here, you're gonna see a statue, you light it. But the good thing is, if you die doing this, the candle is gonna stay lit. So this is your first one. Okay, so the second one, and you can do that right after the second one, if you survived, even if you didn't, you just go to this side, you make a run for it. Go all the way around here, and remember, you are very, very safe on the stairs. So you're gonna be climbing up there, and the invisible enemies are not gonna follow, which is absolutely fantastic. Here you don't have to worry about the archers, you climb one more time. And here is going to be your other candle. Now you jump down here. This, this is going to be a little bit crucial and tricky. From here, all the way over there on the cathedral, there's going to be two archers. What you need to do is have your shield and just start running. But here, once you're at the very top, then run and just keep your shield up. Proceed here. Over here is going to be one of the archers. Kill this one. You don't have to worry about the other one. You proceed up the ladder. One more time. Just a sec. I'm sorry. It's just not registering the command. And here is your fourth, the final one, or the third one. It doesn't even matter. And I'm going to show you where the... I mean, the order in which you do these is going to depend entirely on yourself. You can go to this uh, last one that I'm going to show you now. You can do it first from entering the Evergoal. You can go right here, jump on the side. You can be like crouching to maximize your stealth potential, but we're not going to be doing that now. I haven't encountered any enemies here, but there's going to be a ladder on this side. And you're going to climb it. Okay, man, that is some ladder. And here is going to be your final one, your first one, second one, third one. Whichever order you have started doing these, doesn't matter. Remember that once you do light one of these, and if you die, you don't have to light all of them again. So you can approach these individually have absolutely no stress. So guys, I hope this helped you. See you guys in the next one.